to a brand new video on a super exciting video, something that we have been planning for so long. We finally can tell you guys about today. Should we tell them? Yes, 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 yes. All right, so <laughs> we are going to be expanding our family because- But we're not pregnant, okay? Yes, no, that's Not pregnant. Point. What are we gonna be adding to the family? <laughs> we're getting a little puppy on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, finally, after all this time, we're getting yeah. a little puppy. If you guys are excited for the puppy, make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. In fact, we're going to be picking her up super, super soon. In fact, this coming week. And she is a girl. You said she's. Oh, so yes. She, I've she given is away a little, a little bit. Um, baby girl. Yeah, a girl. Now, we are going to show you the very first picture. We are going to share with you guys the breed and why we decided to go for this puppy. And we also have done a little bit of a shopping haul <gasps> for the puppy yes, already. Yes, we bought so much cute stuff. Before we go into more details, we want to do two things. Number one, I'm going to see if I can hunt down all the animals in the house. And I'm going to get their reactions. And then we're also going to do a little bit of a quick quiz to see if the internet can work out the breed before we tell you. Uh, right. It's not going to change okay, the breed because we've already picked it, <laughs> yeah. but can the internet guess it first before we tell you guys? All right, if you're excited to get a sister, do a tail wag. Oh, come on. Better for that, Evie. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Evie is super excited. I 100% know where Oliver is because he just does not move from this place at the moment. Polly, Polly. Here he is, literally on my desk all day, every day. I even have to put the mat, which is meant to be on my wrist, on the back because he loves to lean on it. Oliver, if you're excited to get a sister, can we get some purrs? Oliver, come on. I know you want a sister. Come on. Nice strokes. A few purrs, maybe. Ollie. Oh. <gasps> Yes! Ollie! I think Oliver is excited as well. Which leaves just one more family member to check with. All right, Darcy, this is his favorite spot. Hey, you're there, baby. Give us a little slow blink. That's all you need. Slow blink if you're excited for a sister. There we go. That Yay. is some solid slow blinking, isn't it, Evie? Yep, Darcy is behind the TV, as always. So we've got all of the animals approval, which is obviously the most important thing. And before we talk a little they bit more, no idea what they're they in don't know what we're going in. In fact, the... Evie met a puppy yeah. earlier this week. Our friend have a cover poo Sean uh, called Winnie and she's so freaking so cute. cute. She's in the nibble stage which puppies go through and she kept trying to nibble Evie's tail but <laughs> Evie was so Despite patient that, with her. Yeah, she was great. And it's funny because Evie's usually like a little bit spoiled and can be quite madamish. However, she gave her that puppy benefit of the doubt. So I like I was worried about Evie but I'm a little bit more confident now. Well, she knows we're talking about She's her. looking at us <laughs> with big eyes like this. So we all know you guys want to know the breed and see some pictures. We're just going to do a quick we have quiz to, to make sure we've done the right decision and uh, see if the internet can guess it. Actually. We've done so many of these as well. Yeah, we've done, I think we've even done a video <laughs> like on this a before. A million, yeah. yeah. Experience. Do you have any experience in owning a dog? Yes. Uh, you can put that the most confident I'm a confident owner with bugs. I wouldn't say we got a bug. Okay, well, Maybe yes. like a, a shoebox. Pretty good, I'd say. What level of training? Wait, wait, wait. We've never owned one. No, that ain't, oh, that wait, ain't what, right. Why is that the one before? Okay. Yeah, we've got to go. put it in. We've got bugs of experience, okay. so we're fine. What level of training are you willing to take on? You have to be sensible with what you get, so yeah. let's be sensible with this. Is that sensible? Maybe that one. We don't want to rule anything out. Okay. <laughs> Section two, exercise. What yes. kind of walks do you have in mind for you and your dog? Gentle walks, active walks. Okay, I think this one, because we do like to go on long walks. Walks. Evie keeps up really well. How long would you walk your dog daily? For half an hour? We usually do about an hour, I'd say. Yeah, minimum. Yeah. I mean, Evie goes on an actual dog walk with loads of other dogs, and yeah, then we try she's and got walk her. <gasps> New puppy will be able to join. So cute. We try and do one to two. But I think be sensible. At this time just, of the year, when it gets yeah. dark at like 4 p.m., it's hard to get a second walk yeah. in. It sucks. Appearance. This is a really important okay, this part. Is Big. Small, fluffy or wiry? What, what is your preference? Now, okay. there's like a weird elitism between big dog owners and small dog owners. You're and I don't like that. Like, I love dogs of all shapes and sizes. And we actually both love really big dogs. I like big wolfy dogs. You like big, like, labs and goldens. Yeah, definitely. However, for our lifestyle, a smaller dog definitely works better. And we like to bring Evie everywhere. And we'd like to bring future Papa everywhere. Super important. So I think small works better for what we have in mind. We don't want a toy dog, but a smaller dog, I reckon. Uh, I mean, I like to carry dog around. I mean, I can do one arm dog with Evie, but only because my arms like the size of a tree. But, but yeah, I want to be able to like snug it. I okay. think this one. Okay. okay, we're going super small. Does your dog drooling? Uh, I really don't like dogs. Yeah, I'm none sorry. of that, please. None of that. How much grooming? Well, we've got two of the fluffiest cats in the world. We do, and Evie's ears get knotted so easily, so we kind of already know that we've got to groom quite a lot. Yeah, what do you reckon? Every other day or even every day? I think every day. It's going to be a lot, guys. The war against fluff is lost. 
in the Oh yeah, it, that's the thing. Claire gave me a few nice pieces of clothing for my birthday recently. And I'm like, oh, you know, I love love these clothes. So nice. And take them out. Only worn it once. Covered, covered in fluff already. In Can't Everything get away with it. Everything we have is covered yeah. in fluff. Is there anyone with known dog allergies? No. Final section, behavior. How do you like your new dog to behave? I prefer quiet, sir. I mean... <laughs> we kind of know which category yeah. we think the dog's going to go into, but... I think the dog we get in is actually more yappy than we'd really want from recording point of view. But I think we need to answer honestly. We yeah, we'll answer quiet. honestly. See if it can still get it. What are you looking for? No, 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 guards. no. We don't need guards. Yeah. It's okay. Especially because they've got cats and I want them never to feel scared. We want them all to get along. Yeah. yeah. Do you want your pets to go along with other pets? Oh, yes. you just said that. Dogs yes. and cats. And then finally... Child-friendly dog. I think so as well. Yeah, yeah. I want a gentle, I mean, gentle we did dog. start this video by saying it's not a kid, but <laughs> looking forward into the future. All right. Everything is done. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've got a guess for what breed you think is about to come up, do leave it down below Put in the comments. Put it in the comments section. now. I have a feeling it's not going to be on there. <laughs> oh, your results. Basset, Basset hound. Not really what we had spaniel. in mind. Spaniel. We already got a spaniel. Did we say super small in the answer? We said toy, didn't we? It never we? asked us how fluffy we wanted it either. I've just oh, yeah. Us. Oh, I love Burmese Martin dogs. Why did, why did we say super small and then it's like the biggest dog yeah, in the world? Yeah, it's given us huge dogs. Oh my gosh, Loki. It's not on what? So the internet could not guess our dog breed. But were you guys any better at guessing? We're about to put a, a little picture of our new baby. Three, two, one. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, on screen here, bearing in mind we don't have too many pictures, we are getting a baby Pomeranian. It's not actually a, a baby bear, even though it looks like a baby bear. It looks like a giant floof ball. So it's now we can so talk floofy. a little bit more about it. Yeah. We picked it a size. We wanted one that wouldn't be too dissimilar to Evie. Yes, but um, on the size note, a lot of poms are now these kind of micro teacup poms. Our pom isn't going to be like that. More um, regular size. Yeah, we wanted something that was a little bit bigger, chunkier, would actually be able to go on longer walks with us. It was actually influenced and helped by the fact that our editor, Aaron, who's Aaron. actually editing this video right now, has an amazing <laughs> Using Pom as well called Zeus. Zeus. He is adorable, he is so happy, so floofy, and you may have actually seen pictures of Evie and Zeus together. So Zeus is technically Evie's boyfriend, so Yeah, I, I mean yeah, technically boyfriend and girlfriend, although they do have the old argument. Oh, they have some domestic, yeah. <laughs> um, so that was great help because we've actually had some experience of those two breeds together as well. One thing to note is that the picture you're seeing right now, the puppy does look fairly dark in colour and massively floofy, which hopefully the floofiness won't change. But the colour is definitely something that evolves during the aging process of a dog so it starts off as a puppy and then will most likely get a lot lighter actually yes perhaps more in a similar way to Zeus. but sure ob you guys. obviously with poms you don't know they can no. go either way i really don't mind like we whether mind. it goes at light or yeah. dark but the face of the mum and dad will show the mum and dad now the dad in particular was like oh so freaking pretty just like zeus crazily looked like literally zeus's Th like it's literally a bit weird. Maybe i'm not convinced like, it wasn't zeus. yeah maybe zeus just <laughs> snuck off and breeding some dogs but if our little bear can end like that then I'll be really happy. But honestly, we just want a happy, healthy puppy. The little pup that we're showing you now was so happy and yeah. energetic and affectionate and friendly. We actually don't have an official name for the dog, despite this is we need your help. picking her up in a few days' time. I think two syllable names work really well for animals, like Evie, Ollie, Darcy. Like, it's yeah. just like they seem to respond really well to them. So I want something two syllables. Two syllables. And girly. Girly. But not, not necessarily. I actually quite like more androgynous names. But we're gonna go through the comments though and have a look at yeah. what you're saying, okay? One of your comments could be the decider. We are literally a few days away from picking up this puppy, and obviously, we're gonna be putting up a video here on the channel. So make sure you subscribe to see the very first. Well, actually, we'll put pictures out and everything, but to see a full video of us collecting the puppy. Obviously, to get prepped for a puppy, you need to do some shopping. So on screen here, you can see us doing a little bit of shopping where we actually went ahead and bought everything we need for the pup. Now, one of the cool things is we actually bumped into another puppy that was there. Evie and the puppy got to say hello. You can also see one of Evie's favorite things to do whenever she goes shopping, which is to go underneath all of like the counters and the shopping aisles and try and pick up any spare food that is lying around. So having filled up our baskets and bought everything, let's take a look at what our puppy will be getting as she rides here in a brand new home. So this is the little bed and for the little pupperoo. Don't worry, we don't plan on keeping her in the crate all the time, but crates are good for puppies because it gives them like a little safe space to go to. And also on a night time, it's a good place to put them so that they can sleep and like they're not gonna go off wrecking in the house. She's already got her little bed in there. It's so small. She's got some little toys in there already. And then this bit, 
that you can take out and microwave so she'll feel nice and warm and snug when she goes to bed at night. We've got her this little teeny tiny baby Kong so that when she gets through the chewy stage, she's got stuff to chew. Teeny, teeny, tiny collar. I even think that's going to be too big for her though. Yeah, it's, it's going to take her a while to fit into anything. So cute. Everything is like extra, extra small. So adorable. We got her this lead and harness as well just because I thought it was really cute with a little bow on it. I love buying stuff for pets. Like it just makes me so happy. One thing we're really conscious about is if you get a new dog, you can't let the other dog feel left out or like jealous or anything. And we know that Evie potentially could become jealous. You're going to be jealous, Evie. Be good, won't you? Uh, no, she's going to be jealous. What we're going to do is just make sure that Evie's getting loads of attention. She's getting loads of time as well. It's never going to be a one puppy versus Evie kind of thing. We've got them little matching scarves for the winter. Just one of several matching items, by the way. Also, we've got them little Mitchy match. We're going to turn them into foxes, apparently. <gasps> oh, so cute! The final thing we got is Poms need a lot of grooming. Evie's afraid of brushes. Yeah, we she Evie has a vendetta against brushes. Yes. So guys, there you have it. A first look at our puppy. You now know what breed it is. We need help with the name yes, and please. next time you see us, this crate will have a tiny little pom bear in it. Yeah, because so we're gonna do a follow-up video next week with us collecting little Paparoo. Bring her home. Yeah, she's gonna meet Evie pretty soon, but the cats will take things a little bit slower. We've basically relit the fire of this channel yeah. because we've got a puppy so we can make loads of videos. Literally, little bear has saved us. It's amazing. We cannot <laughs> wait, guys. We hope you're just as excited as we are. If you are, give it a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And if you have missed any videos on this channel or you are just new, you can check out more on screen now. We'll see you guys next week here on the channel with a brand new puppy. Can't wait. And we'll see you guys then. Thank you. Bye. Bye.